Her one, so her Rocket Mod just shut down and basically all the compiled plugins on their website have been taken down and are not available for download. So in this video I'm just going to show you how to compile them yourself and that will enable you to actually use the plugins on an unturned server. So a link to this Reddit page will be down in the description below and that basically gives you a list of all the plugins that were previously listed on the Rocket Mod website. Now some of these plugins may or may not have their compiled released already. You can check it by going on one of the plugins and if you click on the releases you should be able to see a download link for the compiled plugin. Now obviously this plugin doesn't have its compiled release yet. So we're going to try to compile about one or two of these plugins. So first off, you want to go to visualstudio.microsoft.com link will be in the description down below and you want to download the Visual Studio Community 2019. Once it's downloaded, run it, hit continue. Now the installer window will pop up and you want to hit .NET Desktop Environment. Select it and install. Now this is quite a big download, so depending on internet speed, it might take a while. So once it's finished installing, it should automatically start. Just hit not now, maybe later. And I'm just going to use the dark theme. Right, so now before we head on to Visual Studio itself, first of all, we're going to select the plugin to compile. So I'm going to select Uconomy, which is probably one of the most popular plugins and also uses MySQL. So you can hit Ctrl F to find for the plugin or you can scroll down and try to search for it. So Uconomy is right here. And as you can see, there is no releases. So we are going to have to compile this plugin by ourselves. So before we download the source code, go into branches. And we're going to open both of these branches into a new tab. Now to check which plugin version of this economy is updated to the latest rocket mod, go into this .cprog file for both of them. Inspect the code and check for the code layout that is similar to this, where it says configuration, condition, and all this stuff. As you can see here, it's completely different from when this starts off with. So based on my experience, if the CPROG file shows something similar to this, then it's updated. So we're going to go ahead and download the zip file. And so we're downloading the legacy branch. Now we want to extract this file. So in your documents, there should be a new folder called Visual Studio. You can create one yourself. And we're just going to drag and drop this into the Visual Studio folder. Now there's all the source code for the economy plugin. Now we're going to start compiling this plugin. So go into Visual Studio, open a project or solution. Go to the documents and Visual Studio. Economy, and we're going to hit the economy.sln file. Click OK, and it should begin loading in the project itself. Now, alternatively, you can go to File, Open, Project Solution, and it's the same thing. So it's as simple as just clicking Start, and it'll start building the plugin. You can ignore this error. And as you can see here, it has compiled the plugin and placed it in the economy legacy bin debug economy. So we're going to go to the bin folder debug and you can see economy.dll right here. That is the compiled plugin. And here we have the libraries which are needed for economy since it uses MySQL. Certain plugins may not have this, especially if they don't use MySQL, they most likely won't have any of these libraries. But if you're using Economy, Zalp, Shop, or any plugin that uses MySQL, then you most likely will have these files. And these are necessary for the plugins to run. So we're going to go into our unturned folder and 
find which server you're going to install the economy plugin and so I basically have the test server set up right now so I'm going to drag and drop the economy plugin into the plugins folder and inside my server folder there should be a folder called libraries which corresponds to this one and basically you just want to drag and drop the libraries over into your server and once that's done we can now boot up the server and hopefully the plugin should load now as you can see the server loads successfully and it has loaded the economy plugin the reason why you're seeing these errors is because economy requires a MySQL database to connect to so instead of using economy we're going to try compiling another plugin which doesn't require MySQL so going back to our plugin list we we'll use the kits plugin which is another really popular plugin and unfortunately this only has one branch so hopefully if we check the .c prog file as you can see the layout of this code is similar to that of economy's .c prog so we're going to go ahead and download it and start extracting it to the documents now we're going to open up Visual Studio click on file open project solution kits and open up the .sln file our kits should be loaded and we're just going to hit start ignore this error and as you can see this plugin should be compiled and it's located here so we're just going to copy this file path and paste it so our kits plugin is here and we're going to delete the economy plugin so it doesn't give us any errors and we're going to go ahead and start the server and as you can see kits has loaded successfully and there are no errors so the plugin will be working just fine now that is it for this tutorial leave a like if it helped and i'll catch you guys next time